Hello everybody, this is Strato Ayani and today I'm going to show you here at GraphiusPro.com your source for all things about Photoshop Lightroom photography and anything in general regarding these issues how to increase your undo steps or how to have a bigger history in order to go further back in time. Hello everybody and welcome to another free episode, uh, this time it is uh, for Photoshop and we are going to show you how you can increase the undo steps or the history steps within Photoshop in order to be able to go further back in time and uh, correct any mistakes that you might have done. So this is a very useful technique and uh, I'm going to show you how to unlock it and how to increase these steps and also I'm going to help you avoid some pitfalls and uh, let you know what you should be actually be careful about when you are changing these settings. So without any further delay, let's dive into Photoshop and let's see how this uh, undo limit can be increased within Photoshop. So here we are within Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to increase the undo steps or the history steps backwards uh, within, within Photoshop, I'm sorry, in order to be able to go back in time a lot further. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the edit menu and select preferences and performance. <clears throat> From here you can see that there is an option regarding history states and right now we can go back 50 steps by using the undo option or the step backwards option. And I'm going to increase this to 100 because I really want to go back 100 steps. Now how far you can go back in time depends on the power of the machine that you are working. So for example, if you have a very powerful uh, laptop or PC or workstation, you can increase this, let's say, to 200 or 300. But uh, please keep in mind that the more history stage <coughs> Photoshop has to remember, more resources are going to be needed. I'm sorry. <coughs> My throat is killing me today, I don't know why. So, the more history states you are actually telling uh, Photoshop to remember, the more it's going to use resources, memory, CPU, etc. etc. <clears throat> so, you really need a powerful machine if you want to increase the history states to, let's say, 200 or more. And uh, something that will really help is to increase the available memory that Photoshop can use. As you can see here, I am having <coughs> uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM from which uh, 14 and a half are available right now and uh, I'm allowing Photoshop to use almost 10 gigabytes because I want to have a lot of history states and I want for, uh, light Photoshop to take advantage as much memory as possible when I'm using uh, large files in order to do some creative editing etc etc and my voice is dying as you can hear right now from uh, the microphone so <clears throat> I'm going to hit OK and now I'm ready to undo the hell out of everything that I do. And uh, actually that was it. It was a very small, simple but very uh, effective tutorial. If you liked what you learned today, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube or at the blog post that you are reading right now at the bottom of the page. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter in order to receive to your email our free lessons each week. And also, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to answer to any question you might have regarding Photoshop Lightroom or photography <coughs> in general. I'm sorry, now I'm going uh, to finish the video and see what's wrong with my throat today. That's it. Strato Ayani signing out for today. Take care and happy editing. Ciao! So there you have it, now you know how to increase the undo steps within Photoshop and you know how to avoid some pitfalls that this function might bring uh, towards your way. Uh, if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and down below at the blog post. And also make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel and also on our newsletter because you don't want to miss any free lessons that we publish each week. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, or if you need help in, uh, on regarding Photoshop Lightroom or photography, please leave a comment down below or send an email at info at craftiuspro.com. 
And now if you are wondering what to do next, you can go to craftuspro.com and you can go and check out all the free lessons that we have there in order to help you get better at Photoshop Lightroom and photography. This is Strato Ayani, thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to share this video if you liked it, it means the world to me personally. And until next time, take care. Ciao! Thank you.